Hey guys, this is part two to the first video I made on how to import and export items in Ashlon Skull. And so what we're going to do is focus on Ace Creator, the Decal add-on I use, and I'll show you how to get it and use it. Uh, up here, I'm going to post the link in the description on how to get it. So I'll post the link here and just copy that into your web browser and we'll go to this GitHub page. And then you're going to want to click uh, the latest version and download the DLL file. I'll do it with you, even though I already have it, I'll show you how to do it. So you download it, very small file. And then what you want to do is close that. Um, then go to Decal. Open it up and click Add. Yes. Okay, and then we can browse. And then you want to find where you downloaded it. So I, right now mine's in my downloads. So I go to downloads and then I'll just double click it and I'll select it. And then once you do that, it'll pop up in your list of add ons. And then you just click update or refresh list if you want. I'm just going to close that for now. And then what you want to do is you once you go into Ashlon's call, you'll have on your in your decal bar uh, this little purple kind of gear looking thing. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, so you click that and then you'll have all these different options. So in the first video we were doing it manually. So I was typing slash import uh, JSON and then you type in, you know, your WCID. But with this uh, add-on, it makes it really easy because it just has everything right here for you. So um, Select JSON file, that doesn't work for me, and select SQL file, that doesn't work for me either. I don't know why these ones don't work for me, but this whole bottom, bottom area is really useful. So the different ones, uh, different things you can do here is you can put in the WCID here, and you can create it. If you press this button, it'll just create it in front of you. Create an inventory, or you can create an instance of it. Um, so let's find, let's use the calling stone again. So I'm just gonna press get information down here, and then it'll pop up It'll tell you the Winnie ID number, which is 5084. It tells you what it is, calling stone. So this is the number we need. So if I just delete that and put it up here, 5084, I can create it. And as you see, it creates it in front of me here. Or I can create it in my inventory. Pops right in there. And then, um, yeah, and then I can create instance, which doesn't work for this item because, uh, let's say here, Calling stone is missing property, bull stuck, cannot spawn on land block. That's just because it's um you know one of these items, but if it was an NPC, so let's do this as an example. This guy here. If I get information on him, his ID is 44895. So let's put that in. 44895. So say I wanted a permanent NPC in my world. If I click create instance. It spawns them on top of me. So this guy, because I created an instance, he is now permanently on this land block. So when I restart the server and I come back in, he's going to be here. So if I'm creating my own quests or whatnot, um, that's what you want to do. Or if you're creating monsters and spawning them, you want to create an instance so that they will always be there. And now, and then they will spawn on top of there. So I'm just going to delete this guy. So remove instance is down here. So now I can show you these tools. So we we did the top part here. Now if we look at the bottom one, we got remove instance. So I'll delete that guy because I don't want him on that land block. We also have the option to delete. Where did that stone go? There it is. If I click the stone that I spawned on the ground, I can delete selected, which is right under. Super useful. Um, I can also press my location. It tells me my exact location. Um, I can just refresh the file list. I really like this get information because uh, you know, when you're running around in the world, I can be like, oh, what's this guy's WCID? Get information, boom, it's right there. I can also, then if we move up into this area, I can click export JSON file or S export SQL file. And that just saves me the time of having to actually type it in. And then we've got two more buttons down here. This one's called lookup selected on Yotes. And then this one's looked up, selected on PCAP export. So these are just two websites that are useful for getting information about things. So let's see if I can make that work. Let's delete this guy. Um, so 
get some information on the bread. So if I look up selected on goats, it should pop it up. There we go. And then on this website, it gives us all, all kinds of different information. So we got the weenie ID, tells you what it is, um, all kinds of different values, and just useful things to know if you're going to be doing any kind of editing. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And hopefully this helped. I would highly recommend getting this if you're doing any kind of content editing or anything like that. Okay, I will see you in the next video.